2014 marks the 50th anniversary of the Ford Mustang, and Mustang lovers celebrated in style Sunday at Sugarloaf Ford's 14th annual Mustang Run. Sugarloaf Ford's Joanne Moham said the event has turned into somewhat of a family reunion. We get hugs at the door and say, oh, we're so glad to be back. It's always so much fun for them. And we have wonderful door prizes that gets them to come. We have a wonderful meal coming up. And the end of our route is in Decorah, Iowa at a winery where we will toast the 50th anniversary of the car we love. So we started with three yellow Mustangs and it's grown to over 200 cars and 400 people and the the beauty of the whole thing is it's for a very good cause. All the registration fees go to LifeSource. It doesn't have to be today, but you can come in and make a donation to LifeSource if you'd like to. We'd, we'd love to see you do that. The Mustang Run doesn't just attract Mustang owners from the area, but from across the country. I just talked to a beautiful couple from Illinois. They're so excited to be here and they, they, and they want to come every year. <laughs> they think it's cool. Ruth Rupp from Westby, Wisconsin, brought her 1964 and a half Ford Mustang, one of the first to come off the Ford assembly line. Her love affair with the Mustang began when she was in grade school. My fourth grade school teacher sent me this postcard. She went to the World's Fair and she got to see the Mustang when it was first introduced at the World's Fair in 1964. And she sent me this postcard and came home telling about it. Little did I know that many years later I would own a Mustang. I had been wanting to buy a 64 and a half Mustang in memory for the memory of my father because I remember my father always said I wish I would have been able to afford to buy a Mustang back in 64. So I bought this from the lady down in uh, Grant County, Wisconsin in memory of my father. She had taken very good care of it. Uh, the interior we didn't do anything to. She preserved it very well. She had a few little accidents, so some of the metal had to be replaced on the body. And so we replaced the parts that had to be replaced, and then we did give it a complete paint job. But otherwise, it's totally original. Sugarloaf Ford owner and partner Mike Pitts credits Boham with the event's success. Joanne really gets the credit. She's worked tirelessly for 14 years. We could not have done it without her. We're proud to have all these people here. It's absolutely a phenomenal event.